If you've never seen a flying saucer, you will now. John Blackstone taped it. One of the stars of this year's Philadelphia Auto Show is not an automobile at all, but a flying saucer. It's one of those American dreams that just won't go away behind every garage door. Not a car, but a personal flying machine. It's a dream more widely pursued than you might imagine. If Detroit thinks it has problems with Japanese imports, wait till some of these come on the market. Fuel goes straight up to whatever altitude you need to clear obstacles. In the high-tech corridor of California's Silicon Valley, there are believers. This aircraft takes off from wherever you happen to be, flies directly to where you want to go, and lands there. It doesn't yet, but it might one day. Even the Pentagon is watching closely. Where you need the flexibility to land and take off at other than conventional airports, then this is the future. But the road to this future has been long and winding, and one man has kept following it longer than most. I've always had this desire to build this vehicle and make it work and own one. It's taken me a bit longer than I planned. But today, Moeller plans to be in the cockpit himself okay. to fly in front of the cameras. He first tried that back in 1967, and he did get into the air, though it was more a hop than a takeoff. Problems led to design changes, but Moeller kept building flying saucers. We have time on our side, or have had time on our side, time to think about all the little elements to make it work. Last summer, with a dummy in the cockpit, this transportation of the future was flown before the cameras by remote control. Cheered by that success, Moeller today is ready for a manned flight before the cameras, and he's the man. But first, one more test, with the saucer tethered to a crane for safety. It looks like a success, but the experts spot a problem with engine number eight. Ooh. The manned flight is scrapped. I'm disappointed that we didn't have a man in it. I'm disappointed I didn't have a chance to fly in it today. But Moeller will be back in pursuit of one version of the American dream. John Blackstone, CBS News, Davis, California.